Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records, and we're talking today about this list that came out, uh, Apple Music's 100 Best Albums. You know, um, Apple Music says this, um, Apple Music 100 Best Albums is an opinion survey and curated music ranking created by the streaming service Apple Music. Apple Music's team crafted a list alongside a group of artists including but not limited to Pharrell Williams, Jay Balvin, Maureen Morris, and Carly XCX. The list is an editorial statement and does not take into account any streaming numbers of Apple's music or any other streaming services. So it's an opinion list. You know, by the way, thanks for watching my channel. You know what my channel's about if you subscribe. It's about great music, uh, really, from from rock to jazz and everything in between. Um, so, what is this list made up of? Twenty two point two percent hip hop, eighteen point nine percent rock, eighteen point nine. Alternative is fourteen. It's a lot of nineties music in here. 14% because that's, you know, critics love that pop, 13%. R&B, 10%, electronica, 4%, hard rock, 3%, jazz, 3%, punk, 2%, singer, songer, 2%. Country, 1%, Latin, 1%, metal, 1%, Motown, 1%, reggae, 1%. Let's get into this list. And again, it's petty of me to, 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 to rant because people can make a list about anything. I could make a list about the 100 best albums. Half of this, half of these would not be on here. What they did is they listed cliche albums by Huge, uh, Legacy, Rock Axe, uh, Body Talk by Robin is 100, Hotel California by The Eagles, it's a great album. Uh, 99th best album, Astro World by Travis Scott, Rage Against the Machine, um, you know, man, we're so angry. Um, Pure Heroin by Lord, Conventions by Usher, True Untrue by Burial, A Seat at the Table by Solange, Flower Boy by Tyler the Creator. You know, the Eagles get one, Tyler the Creator gets one. Tit for tat. We're gonna hit every possible demographic here, every little group. Um, you know, as, as much diversity as we can in this list. Some of these artists, you know, there's there's more songwriters on the song than there are chord changes in the songs. When you got more songwriters than you got chord changes in the song, there's a problem. Uh, listen to The Justice by George Michael. Then Back in Black by ACDC, good album. Probably not their best album, it's one of them. Uh, Fame Monster, Lady Gaga, Nia Simone, of course, I put a spell on you. She's always on these lists. She's, and she's fantastic. Half the people that, you know, they don't know one song that she's sang, but she's always on these lists. Blue Lines, A Massive Attack, I don't know what that is. My Life by Mary J. Blige, Casey Musgraves, Golden Hour. It's Doggy Style by Snoop Dogg. Uh, Horses by Patti Smith, it's on every list, right? Uh, 50 Cents, the, the, the Rich and Die, uh, get Rich and Die Trying After the Gold Rush by Neil Young. You know, he's got great albums like Harvest and Everybody Knows This Is Nowhere and Zuma and Ragged Glory and all kinds of stuff. That album seems to always get some run. Marshall Mathers by Eminem, Lana Del Rey, uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. So the cliches are coming out there. Madonna Like a Prayer, Fantastic. Bad Bunny, Missy Elliott, Super, super, super Duper Fly, Downward Spiral by Nine Inch Nails. Asia, Steely Dan, you could, you could put all 10 Asia, excuse me, you could put all, 10 of Steely Dan's albums on a list like this as the greatest, greatest albums of all time, right? That's a great album, by the way. Check out the drum solo by Steve Gadd on the song Asia. Sosa by SZA, I don't know what that is. Kraftwerk, of course, we gotta get, we're so intelligent that we have a German electronica band on here. Trans Europe Express, straight out of Compton. Yeah, I wonder how many songwriters are on that album. Uh, Masters of Puffets by Metallica. There's your metal representation. Great album. This is it by The Strokes. They've, Casablanca's got a hand in the music business, doesn't he? 
Um, it's a good album, actually. Dummy by Portishead, Queen is Dead by The Smiths, Dale of Souls, uh, er er Eric, um, Erica ba Badu, Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experience? Um, Velvet Underground and Nico, oh yeah, New York, New York, uh, you know, pre-punk, of course, they're gonna make every list. Arctic Monkeys AM, Oasis. I mean, there's like one Beatles album and there's one Oasis album, right? There's probably two Beatles albums. I haven't looked at it that deeply yet. Um, the, uh, uh, D'Angelo Voodoo, The Cure, Disintegration, Incredible. My, there's two jazz albums that I've seen. There's a, a Love Supreme, and of course there's Kind of Blue. A Love Supreme by John Coltrane, and there's Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. Two cliche albums that we're always going to get on every list because nobody wants to dig deep. This whole list could be jazz. Kate Bush, Hounds of Love, Prince, Sign of the Times. Probably a couple Prince albums on here since Sign of the Times is coming in at, at uh, 51. Appetite for Destruction, Guns N' Roses, Exile on Main Street by the Stones. Of course, that's on here. Joshua Tree, of course, at 49. Paul's Boutique at 48 by Beastie Boys. Pretty cool locker. Take Care by Drake, Exodus by Bob Marley, Bjork, Stevie Wonder's Inner Visions, one of my favorite albums of all time. I like that. There's a couple Stevie Wonders on here. Talking Heads, Remaining Light at 43, Janet Jackson's Control. <laughs> Janet Jackson's Control. By the way, subscribe to my channel. We do shows every single day. We do try to stay positive. I know I'm ripping this list of outcasts. Um, Aretha Franklin, I Never Loved the Man. The Way I Love You. She's incredible, obviously. Naz. Carol King, of course. Tapestry is going to be on every freaking list you've ever seen. Uh, Enter the Wu-Tang by Wu-Tang Clan is next. Beyonce is Beyonce. Oh, she's so good. How many songwriters are on that? Again, if there's more songwriters, <laughs> there are chord changes. Are there more songwriters than there are lyrics in some of these songs? pitiful the clash oh we're so edgy london calling public enemy it takes a nation of millions to hold us radiohead's kid a radiohead's on here a couple times of course okay computers on here too uh ready to die by notorious big alanis morissette jagged little pill how many songwriters are on that album by the way i think uh, taylor hawkins is on drums on some of that album Tribe Called Quest, Billie Eilish's new album, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, uh, Led Zeppelin II at 27, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye West at 25, Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, of course, at 25, Z Rise of Ziggy Stardust, Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, Bowie at 24, Daft Punk Discovery at 23, Springsteen's Born to Run at 22 on every list, Revolver by the Beatles, of course, at 20, 21. Every list has Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys. Is that an overrated album? I think it might be. I mean, I love some of that stuff. There's some beautiful songs on there, but there's some stuff on there that's not that great. The Chronic, The Chronic by Dr. Dre is better than Revolver and Pet Sounds. Taylor Swift's 1989 is better than both of them, all of them, at 18. Please. Marvin Gaye's What's Going On at 17. I love this. Joni Mitchell's Blue at 16, but Adele's 21 at 15. <laughs> Please. By the way, listen to Joni Mitchell's Blue sometime in its entirety. It's perfect. And it's complicated. And it's complex. And she wrote every single note and every single lyric. Bob Dylan's Highway 61 Revisited, Unbelievable, I Don't See Blood on the Tracks, which is a perfect album also. Perfect album. We're not talking about Outkast's and Rihanna's Ante. We're talking about Blood on the Tracks is on this list. And we could go, we, I could do another show about what's not on this list. And I am gonna do my 100 best albums at some point. Jay-Z's Blueprints at 13, Fleetwood Mac's Rumors, is at 11, OK Computer's at 12. Those, those are some great, great albums, perfect albums. Beyonce's Lemonade at 10, because that's better than OK Computer. Nirvana's Nevermind at nine. Amy Winehouse, Back in Black. 
90s are, are artists that have killed themselves uh, in the top 10. Uh, never, never, I mean, Nevermind's great, right? Back in Black, or Back to Black is great. Uh, Kendrick Lamar is a kid, a good kid, M-A-A-D city, I don't know, at seven, whatever that means. Um, Songs in the Key of Life, double album, written solely by Stevie Wonder, 1975. 73 incredible at number six but better than that is frank ocean's blonde uh at number five purple rain at four the beatles abbey road at three thriller at two and the miseducation of lauren hill at number one just pitiful uh list you know again i feel petty for worrying about it because it doesn't really matter uh, they've checked every box. They, they, they've got a panel to, to not offend anybody. Um, it's just junk. You know, music has gotten progressively worse, really, for 30 years. Less complicated, more cliches, more obvious chord changes, more people involved, more money being sucked to more people in a huge conglomerate industry that doesn't give a crud about anything other than what they can push out to people that don't really require much. They don't require much in their listening. It's got some curse words in it. It's got some edgy stuff talking about slamming people. You know, they're, they're going to run that out. It's not complicated. It doesn't make you think. And it doesn't sound good. And you can't see it live because nobody's playing an instrument. It's all junk. This list is stupid. Check out my channel. I'm going to stay positive, even though I had a show yesterday that was about, um, um, I don't even remember what it was about. Anyway, peace out. See ya.